Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Clash of Clans with Logini Games. Wow, guys, I have been so busy recently, but I wanted to go ahead and bring you guys an update on what's going on in my village. Uh, right now, my schedule has just been so crazy that it's hard for me to keep up with all of the Clash of Clans videos that I want to. But I'm trying to bring you guys the latest and greatest and, of course, keep you all up to date on any news or announcements from Supercell. So in the meantime, you can see I've got both my heroes are upgrading, so I'm opted out of war. They're currently going to level 21. And part of the reason is just that my schedule is so busy, I kind of need a week break. And while I'm taking that break, we're going to get those heroes going. But props to my clan for doing an awesome job in clan war. For the last 17 wars, I think it is, we have just been on an awesome winning streak. And even then, our loss was really close. So everybody's been putting forth such awesome effort. Really, really, really proud of everybody. There's even a perfect war in there. Uh, you can see that one right there against the lost Moja Papos, <laughs> however you want to say it. But uh, yeah, it's awesome. Man, we are on such a great streak. Let's see. Yeah, 17 uh, winning streak. So that's great. Great job, everybody. Really, really, really excited about that. Also, uh, wanted to show you guys a little bit of a farming update from my attack log. Man, if I can find real quick. Logan Jax shared an awesome replay. Look at this loot. This is incredible. I had to bring you this from Logan Jax. Hope you don't mind, buddy. Uh, this is awesome. Look at this Town Hall 9 with loaded down storages. Maybe not so much in the Dark Elixir category, but a huge take. Let me just go ahead and, and show you what's going on. He's just basically bringing Giants, Archers, and the good old Goblins to get in there and just do work on this base. And despite those Wizard Towers uh, concentrated there toward the center, as giants do get in there and get around, the archers make their way around the outside and clean up all of that loot. This does end up being a 100%, I'm pretty sure. Once he gets that mortar out of the way, yeah, the queen takes care of that. And, I mean, this is a massive, massive amount of loot. I mean, wow. So that's right there about gold one. So I'm hanging out in crystal three along with Logan Jax. And I've been having some good luck as well. Some bases come and go. I had to do some dropping to hang out down around here. But here you go. Here's a good look at something. So I had like a go wipe cooked from when I was trophy pushing earlier. And this was so funny because uh, all of the uh, all the loot was in the collectors. They're all along the outside. So I'm basically dropping P.E.K.K.A.s and Golems as tanks and then Wizards to just take out the collectors. It's totally an epic uh, overkill in terms of elixir usage. But now we've got a good giant archer uh, goblin kind of scenario set up a lot like Logan Jacks. It works really well. So. Again, good loot offers right here around Crystal 3 or Gold 1 is what I'm seeing in farming. Let me see if I can... Uh, that's not right. Let me see if I can show you anything else in the attack log. That was not me dropping. Nope, that's too bad. I defended my way to Crystal 1 with this base on accident. And I needed to drop, so uh, I went ahead and did a ton of dropping. But there's good, you know, 400k loot raids uh, or so down around uh, Crystal 3 right now. So definitely enjoying that as a Town Hall 9. In terms of speed runs, if you guys did not know, we've currently got some speed runs posted on speedruns.com for Clash of Clans uh, for the Goblin maps. So that's really excited. We've got times up for Payback and for Goblin Forest. Need to be working on Goblin Outposts. I've got a couple of strategy ideas for this base. It's a little bit more complicated because there's two defenses uh, they're really weak in terms of hit points and then there's these two structures now each of these structures can be taken out with one wizard blast but the cannons sadly require two so I have a strategy where I drop both my heroes which are right now upgrading and they do a pretty good job of you know hit the ability and they kind of do their work if you can place them just right they, they go pretty quick but I, I'm kind of thinking that six wizards might be able to do this really well. Let's see where my wizards are in my uh, camps. Three more minutes. Let's just go ahead. I've spent all my gems. I'm a really bad gemmer right now. All right, here we go. Just for the sake of the video, you know, the, the pains I go through for you guys. All right, now I'm bad at this. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. But six wizards is should be it. So let's go ahead and just see what I can do. Maybe I'm gonna zoom out just a minute. And how do I do this again? Oh gosh, hang on. Okay, if I drop them like that, see those two, oh, that was pretty quick. Okay, 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 okay. So the idea is, that was pretty good. I wish that this was like the challenge mode and I could get those troops back. 
Sadly, it is not. So the idea is to drop two wizards on each cannon. So in one strike, that cannon will go down. And then to drop a wizard on the outside to target that red structure, uh, whatever that is, and then to target what is basically the town hall, you place another wizard on the inside. And I, like, rarely ever do I place anything on the inside that does not target that uh, tower, that big uh, town hall first. So it's really strange that I think I dropped that wizard and he attacked that red building first, and that's really unusual. But that's what happened. And then to get the other wizard out here where he has the minimum travel distance to just, in fact, no travel distance, but if he can just directly target that and take it out, that's awesome. And then if I drop anything on the inside here, you see this? It, usually a lot of times there's a big chance that it's gonna target that town hall and I don't want that. So that's why I'm actually dropping the wizards on the outside so they're guaranteed to target that cannon. Part of this is just having to fat finger it on my iPhone. I might need to, uh, I might be better served by doing this on an iPad where I've got a much bigger screen, a lot easier to drop troops. But hey, this is what I got right now and I am not complaining. So, and it's not even a, a plus, you know, not even a, a, you know, mammoth phone. It's just a good old regular iPhone. Anyway, uh, that's what I'm thinking right now. We'll go ahead and end this battle with an epic loss. Yes, I know. Defeated. But you guys get an idea of what I'm working on. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying all that. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update. It's probably going to be another week before I can get another video up. But didn't want to leave you guys hanging. So thank you guys so much for sticking with me. And I will see you again soon.